What is up everybody, how's it going today? My name is Saratube, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to flip in free-to-play. Now, this is just a basic beginner's guide to flipping in free-to-play because, you know, I understand that not everyone wants to get members and, you know, not everyone plays enough to really enjoy members to its fullest or they just can't, they don't have enough coins, can't get bonds, things like that. I uh, just wanted to say real quick, sorry I haven't uploaded this week um, until today. Just because I just took a new job and I'm a little bit under the weather, so I've just kind of been adjusting to things, and uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So I understand that most people in free-to-play probably don't even have a mill just because it's so hard to make money in free-to-play, but the reason I'm going to use a mill for this video is because if I use less... I can't really show you guys good flips to do, um, and I want to make sure that you guys can just take all these items I'm using and maybe throw some of your own items you find in there and make your money out of it, hopefully get to a bond one day. But if I have less than this, it's kind of hard for me to showcase everything. So the first kind of set of items that I'm going to look at here are all the ores and all the mining supplies. So this includes adamant ore, mithril ore, uh, clay, and like... Mithril bars, adamant bars, iron bars. Um, usually, iron ore doesn't flip that well because it'll buy fast, but it's hard to it's hard to sell it. So I kind of avoid iron ore, but I do flip the iron bars. So uh, let's first start with the adamant ore. It, they all it's like adam adamantine ore. I don't know why it's named that, but uh, anyway, let's check the margin on that. I was checking margins a little bit before this just to kind of get a sense of what items I wanted to flip. So. Yeah, that's the same margin about. That's a pretty big margin, um, about 20 GP, a little bit more, um, like 26 GP. So we're going to put that in there. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of big flips just because, again, for you guys, um, I realize most people don't probably have a mill to throw at these things, and I want to make it realistic flips. So we'll put the adamant ore in there. Uh, let's get some mithril ore as well, as long as the... Um, the margin is good here. Uh, we'll check this. And it looks like it's going to be... Yeah, 3GP margin. We'll take it. Uh, and a tip just for everyone here. Uh, in free-to-play, you have to settle for smaller margins. Uh, just because... The, a lot of the free-to-play items are traded a lot. And the margins are small. Because, think about it. Uh, free-to-play people are flipping these things. And... Sometimes members people flip them and it's just the margins aren't nearly as, as good as they can be in uh You know pay to play So as I was waiting for my offers to go through uh, I saw the adamant ore um, come through which is awesome And I'm gonna flip that in a second here, but uh, I put an offer in for clay uh, The margin was 2 GP and as I was saying before sometimes you got to settle for smaller margins and free to play just because I don't know, the margins aren't as big, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna turn around and try to sell this adamant ore real quick, and I'll get back to you when we've made some progress. So I'm not gonna flip adamant, uh, bars and mithril bars in this video, just cause I wanna show you guys uh, a little bit more, but if you wanna flip those items, they're also a great item to flip here. Uh, while this stuff is going through, I'm gonna move on to the next section. Now, this section is arrows. Now... It's more like ammunition, I guess, um, but we're going to do iron arrows and adamant arrows. Uh, I find that these are pretty good items in free-to-play. Uh, the margin's usually only, like, 2 GP, like, seriously, but you can't really complain in free-to-play for that margin because the more money you have, the bigger flip you can do uh, with that 2 GP margin, and you actually will make money. Well, okay, the iron arrow... Uh, is only a 1GP margin, so we're, we're going to avoid that. Same rules in pay-to-play. Avoid small margins like that. It's really just not worth it. Let's try those adamant arrows. Now, I'm also trying to make this video not run as long as I usually do. But then again, I say that every time, and I always come out with a long video. So hopefully we can cut back a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure. Again, adamant arrows, only 1GP margin. Looks like we're going to skip that for this video, just because flipping 1GP margins is really not worth it. So up next for our next section is going to be the runes section. Now this is going to be chaos runes, law runes, and nature runes. Now these are probably your best flips in free-to-play, honestly. Uh, they go fast, and the margins can be uh, pretty good at, at times, like maybe 4 or 5 GP, which in free-to-play you can't really complain about. Uh, so first we're going to test the chaos rune here. I find that chaos runes um, flip 
not they they flip they're safe they the price doesn't jump but they're definitely not the fastest of the three uh out of the three i'd probably say natures are the fastest but it looks like we're going to get a 3 gp margin on these which is outstanding um i'm pretty confident in that because you know it's not going to jump down really i'm pretty sure in that uh i'm going to get 2k of them which is 200k which i feel like is realistic for a free to play uh player to flip with uh, i'm assuming most free to play players have somewhere between 300 and 500k uh, even when they're higher level, just because getting money in um, free-to-play is just so hard. Um, but I will be making a guide on money-making in free-to-play uh, besides flipping soon here. But anyway, without going off on tangents, let's try to get this margin on the law rune here. Uh, looks like all our chaos runes bought, so we're going to put those back up for 103, just so we don't waste any time. Hopefully we can get those off, and that looks like it's going to net us 6k. Um, which really isn't that much, but in free-to-play, it is a good pit. Uh, let's see what the margin here is. 192, 196, great. 4 GP margin. That's all you want to see, really. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get 1K again, another like 2K flip. Or, sorry, 200K flip, a little bit less. Um, 192K. Uh, we'll go in on that. That looks pretty good. Um, let's also test out the nature runes. Uh, we don't want to forget about doing that. And let's see, I'm expecting that these are going to have like a 2 GP margin. Uh, usually people flip nature runes a lot and the margin is pretty small. A 3 GP margin, that's actually better than I thought, so we're going to do that. Uh, again, I would like to do a 200k flip again, but I only have 177k, so... Um, just for you guys, the viewers, make sure you tailor these flips to the money that you want to put in on these flips. Don't let me dictate your flipping, really. Um, these are just items that I suggest you flip that I have found useful and good to flip, but if, you know, you don't think these are going to work well for you, then don't do them. Look for your own items, check margins, you know how it is. Um, so I'm, anyway, I'm going to go in on that flip there with the nature runes. And make sure you tailor these flips to your, you know, your wealth, kind of in free-to-play. Like, if you only have 100k, make sure you do, like, 25k um, flips. Uh, you will make money, and uh, flipping is definitely the best money-making method in free-to-play. But you don't want to also have a failed flip and lose a lot of that money. So just make sure you're being safe when you flip, and tailor these flips to uh, your own personal wealth. Now, our chaos runes went all the way through, so we're going to collect those. That was a 6k flip. Um, I'm getting, uh, our, our law runes and nature runes are buying, which is good, but I'm getting nervous for the adamant and mithril and the clay. Uh, I know they're, they will buy, um, but it's just taking a while, and I want to make sure we get this, uh, adamant ore off our hands. So, we're gonna dump, we're not gonna dump it for super low, but we're gonna drop it down a bit to, uh, you know, we're gonna lessen the margin. It was, uh, I think it was at 1448 is what we, uh, originally... That was the sell price, but I'm going to drop it to 1440 uh, because I really don't want to fail this flip uh, for the video and for my own sake. But yeah, I think we're going to back out on the Mithril Ore. Um, if you have time, though, when you're flipping this, definitely flip the ores because it, may, it might take a little bit, but uh, it will make you some money. So as you can see, our Law Runes bought, and then I just turned them around and sold them real quick, and they sold really fast. Uh, that was a good flip right there. I think we made like 4k. Yeah, you have to remember in free to play that the margins aren't going to be as big. So you just want to get safe and fast flips to make your money. Just remember that you want to flip a lot, um, but for small margins. Now, going on to our next section here, uh, I have kind of a miscellaneous section that I just have a couple of good items that I know flip well. Uh, and I used to do them all the time, making my money back in my free-to-play days on uh, OSRS here. Uh, now, the Strength Pot was one of them. Now, uh, hear me out on this one. I know that the uh, margin is usually only like 2 GP, but people have to buy these because they... Uh, you know they they need to they need them for PVP, right? That's the the strength potion is the only free to play uh, potion that you can use. So uh, besides energy potions now, but that's not going to help you in PVP really. Uh, so we're gonna do a small flip on these. Uh, we'll do a 25k flip. Uh, it seems kind of realistic. Uh, so 257 each, selling for 259 each. We'll let those sit for a little bit. Uh, the next item is gonna be swordfish. 
uh, again, needed for PvP, so people are buying and selling these. Uh, most of the fish, I assume, comes from members. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, again, same thing with the strength pots. I'm sure it's people and members that are making them to level up, and then they're just getting sold to the free-to-play market. Wow, swordfish are getting really cheap these days. But yeah, look at that, 5 GP margin, and I know they're going to sell fast, but I'm not sure if they're going to buy fast. Uh, so we'll do a... Three, three, we'll do 300 of them for 118k, and we'll put that in, and we'll let that sit. Now, the last item is Rune to Hand Swords. Uh, I actually did this in my first video on how to flip with uh, 10 mil, and uh, pretty much these are good because they, they buy and sell really fast, but the problem is they're kind of pricey for free-to-play people, especially if you don't have a lot of coins saved up. But as you can see, it's a pretty good margin there. It's like 50 coins. Um, I'll, I'm going to do, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do five of them. Uh, but it's going to cost us 189k, which is actually realistic uh, for a free-to-play player, I believe. Uh, we're going to let that sit. Hopefully, we can get that off. And really, you don't, you don't make a lot of money off of that. Like, we're not going to make a lot of money off that flip. But that's also because I only have... Uh, 189k into that flip if you have a lot of money in free to play like if you have a mill and you flip these rune to hand swords you actually will get a lot of bank so let's let everything sit for a little bit and then we'll come back after all right so i'm back checking in real quick uh the mithril ore sold which is good i mean it's just two of them but we still made it. a couple coins whatever we'll take it uh and the rune swords bought so we're gonna turn these around and sell them real quick i just forget what we okay so 1393 or 37935 uh okay that's fine 37935 sorry it's just hard for me to remember it in my head it's easier to say it out loud so we're going to sell that and uh again we're going to wait a little bit for things to move through oh actually real quick i also dropped the adamant ore price down uh it's only now we're only doing it for like a 2 gp flip but i really need to get these off um if you ever find a flip is not going as planned uh, just try to sell it for the price you bought it at um, you might not net any money but hey you know what it's better than losing money okay and we're back now the only problem I have right now is these nature runes uh, don't want to sell for 207 so I literally just dropped them to 206 uh, but besides that, everything else seems to be going through. Uh, Swordfish, like, instantly sold for 400. Uh, it took them a while to buy, but after they did buy, they went fast. Uh, the Adamant Ore finally went, so that was good. And the Rune Swords went, so that was also good. So, um, we're just gonna collect that and see where we are. And now we're just gonna wait for this stuff to finish, and I'll end up the video. So, the Strength Potion sold... And uh, the nature runes finally sold too, but I had to drop them to 205 just because I didn't want to wait much longer to, to just sit around and wait for these to sell, uh, just delaying the length of creating the video. So I sold them for 205. Uh, if you remember, we bought them for 204. Uh, I did get some of them off for 207, uh, but not all of them. So unfortunately, that kind of sucked, but whatever. Now we started with one mil exactly, and we ended with. Um, really a 12.5k profit uh it's been 17 minutes about and really that's not a lot and i can see why um people will be like well what's the point of this video well honestly this is the best money making in free to play and i want to show people how to do it so they can move up and get bonds um if we made 12k 12.5k in uh seven like 17 minutes um that's better than the 40k an hour uh cutting oak logs i think that's the best free-to-play money making method as, as far as i know um pking i mean if you're good at it might be better money i'm not really sure uh i don't really do that um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh again thank you to the viewer who requested it um i've been making i've been meaning to make a free-to-play guide but i don't feel like i'm that good at, at flipping in free-to-play uh maybe compared to some other people but I wanted to get a video out because I do know a couple things and a couple items that can help you guys make some money. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Let me know what kind of video you want to see next. And anyway, I'll see you next time.